and welcome as I, Mohan Kapoor, don the role of quiz master for the last time this year on the grand finale in this eighth season of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, powered by Himalaya. As our hunt for the ultimate quizzing team for this year draws to a close, come, let's meet the three super teams, the finalist teams, for one last time. My Team A, our first finalist here, Delhi Private School, Dubai. <laughs> Boys, for the last time here on this season, give us all your introduction. Hi, my name is Kaushik Murgan from Grade 10 of DPS Dubai. Congratulations, Mr. Finalist. Welcome. And your partner is... My name is Christopher Kumban from Grade 10 of DPS Dubai. Ladies and gentlemen, our Team B, Crescent English High School, Dubai. Welcome, boys. Welcome. What a fabulous innings you all have played. Come, once again, for the last time, give all our viewers and me your introductions. Hi, my name is Conroy Rodriguez and I study in Grade 9 of Crescent English High School, Dubai. Welcome, Conroy. And your partner is our veteran, last year's participant too, and he's here again on the finals. Please give us your introduction. Hello, I'm Adil Abdul Khader, studying in Grade 9 at Crescent English High School, Dubai. And ladies and gentlemen, my Team C, our Team C, our own English high school for Jera. Please give them a warm welcome. What a fabulous innings you all have played too, young men. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Please, once again, for one last time, give us all your introductions. Hi, I'm Nihal Feroz. I study in Grade 9 at our own English high school for Jera. Welcome, Nihal. And your partner is? I'm Yasin from Grade 9, yeah, from our own English high school. Welcome, Yasin. So, how does it feel? How does it feel being part of the finals in the eighth season of this such a prestigious quiz show. It's a great honor. You know, thousands of kids, thousands of them take part in the on-ground eliminations. We've been given to believe that this is a calendar event in the schools that they come from. And yet, only a handful make it here. 18 teams, 36 students. And at the end of the day, at the finish line, we have six of them. These are the best of the best. And yet, there's going to be one that's going to be the best, even from these three teams. Okay, we are going to start this final in the eighth season. Now tell me, if you were walking on a Concorde that was cruising at the speed of sound, could you make the claim that you were walking at the speed of sound? Interesting thought there. But let's see if our teams can match the speed of my questions as we cruise into our first round here in the finals, which is the rapid fire. And it's brought to you by Daba Herbal Toothpaste. Six questions will be asked to each team. No negative points for a wrong answer. Each correct answer carries five points. If a team answers all six questions correctly within the given 45 seconds, then they will get 10 extra points. A team can pass a question and we'll come back to it if time permits. I wish you all all the very best. Let's begin the ceremonies for this final. Team A, Delhi Private School, Dubai. The last time, your rapid fire of 45 seconds, six questions in total. Your time starts now. Peter was the friend of which fictional girl created by Johan Spiri? Pass. Question two, the boundary of which celestial body is known as the event horizon? Is it neutron star or black hole? Black hole. Black, black hole is correct. Question three, on the postage stamps of which country would you find the word Sveria? Uh, Russia? Russia, Russia. Russia. Russia is incorrect. Question four, the Great Barrier Reef is made by which living creature? Corals. Coral is right. Which animal is the source of ambergris? Musk ox or sperm whale? Musk ox. That is incorrect. Question six, what is the most used material in the art of origami? Paper. Paper. That is correct. Well done, Team A. Well done. Okay. Team B, are we ready? Yes, yes, sir. Crescent English High School, Dubai. For you, Rapid Fire, I have these six questions. Answer them in 45. All correct, you get 10 extra. All the best. Question one. In the Peanuts comic strip, what kind of creature is Woodstock? A bird. Correct. Question two. Which is the single largest structure built by the Romans? Is it the Colosseum or Hadrian's Wall? Hadrian's Wall. Absolutely right. Question three. Which metal comprises about 80% of the dissolved constituents of seawater? Sodium. Correct. Question four. Which is the world's largest 
non-ruminating, even-toed, hoofed mammal? Giraffe. That is incorrect. Question 5. Which inventor wrote under the pseudonym Richard Saunders? Was it Thomas Alva Edison or Benjamin Franklin? Edison. That is incorrect. Question 6. Your last question. Which is the deepest continental body of water on Earth? Pass. I come back to your pass question and I'm afraid time is up. Team C, your turn. Our own English high school, Fujera. Here are your six questions in 45 seconds. Question one. Farsi is the official language of which Asian nation? Iran. Correct. Question two. Who is the first goalkeeper to win the Golden Ball Award for a FIFA World Cup final competition? Is it Dino Zoff or Oliver Kahn? Oliver Kahn. Oliver Kahn is right. Team C, question three. The name of which gas in Greek means maker of water? Hydrogen. Correct. Question four. The sound commonly associated with which natural phenomenon is a clap? Pass, pass. Pass. Question five. The amount of pigment contained in what determines eye color? Is it the iris or the cornea? Iris. Correct. Question six. Which body of water connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Atlantic Ocean? Strait of Gibraltar. It's the Strait of Gibraltar. Okay, and time. I'm afraid I couldn't go back to the question you passed. All right, that brings us to the end of our first round. Let's hear it for our finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Hear it for yourselves. Stupendous. Well done. I'm going to begin my next round with the lowest scoring team. But before that, I must tell you, Peter Drucker writes, Making good decisions is a crucial skill at every level. Our teams will get their turn to make a good decision as they choose one category out of six in our next round, which is Scatterbills, brought to you by the Skyline University College. The teams will be presented with six subjects. The team with the lowest points will get to choose first. Each team will get to choose one subject and will be asked a question based on that subject. The question will have four options. If the team gets the answer on the first attempt, they get 15 points. On the second attempt, they get 10 points. And on the third attempt, you get five points. Rules are clear because they've been played before. Now I'll have you know that the lowest scoring team, we have a tie with team A and team B. Obviously team C in the lead for now. So I will begin in the order A, B and C as usual. Okay, so team A, I'm gonna begin with you. The round of categories, all the very best. Pay attention. The six categories that you are being presented with are Chocolates, measurements, history, inventors, elements, and cricket. What would you choose? Elements. Elements? Okay, elements it is. Which element with atomic number 56 gets its name from the Greek word for heavy? Your options are osmium, barium, thorium, cadmium. What would you like to guess for 15 points? Barium. Barium is right. Well done. Well done. 15 points in the kitty for Team A. Okay, let's see what Team B does with their four options. What are your categories left? Let's see. Chocolates, measurements, history, inventors, cricket. 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 All right, cricket it is. Starting out, my story so far is the autobiography of which international cricket captain? Your options are Stephen Smith, Faf Du Plessis, Alistair Cook, or Kane Williamson? Steve Smith. No, that is incorrect. You lose the opportunity to get 15 points, but for 10 points, I urge you to hazard a guess. Kane Williamson. No, I'm afraid that's incorrect too. But five points still await you if you get it right on this third option. Faf Du Plessis. No, I'm afraid it is not. It is Alistair Cook. Okay, moving on. Team C, the categories left for you to choose from are the following. Chocolates, measurements, history, inventors. What would you choose? History. You would choose history? All right. Let's give you a question. Let's see what history brings up for you. Question. Who gave United Nations its name? Was it Dwight D. Eisenhower, Harry S. Truman, Franklin D. Roosevelt, or John F. Kennedy? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Perfect answer. 15 points in your kitty. Well done, Team C. Well done, Team C. Good on you. Good on you. Well, with that, we come to the end of our second round. Well done so far, teams. Well done. It's a close team contest so far, so don't lose heart. We are going to go in for a short break here in the finals, but when we return, the team standing so far will be ready for this episode of the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018. 
powered by Himalaya. Welcome back, welcome back to the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, powered by Himalaya. This is UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest in its eighth season, in its final episode for the season. Come, let's take a look at the scores up to this point. At second runner-up position, we have my Team B, Crescent English High School Dubai, with 15 points. Please don't underestimate them. It's only their beginning. It's only their beginning. And we have our first runner-up in Team A, Delhi Private School Dubai, with 30 points. <laughs> this is the team that has had the highest score this season in a round previous to this. And our lead team for now is our own English High School Fujera, my Team C, with 40 points. This contest can still go anywhere, in anybody's name. All the very best. Hold on to that confidence and that focus, boys. Because as a wise old saying goes, we have two ears, two eyes, one mouth. So we should listen and observe more than we say. Hmm. I should, I should follow that. And I fully concur. And hope our teams listen and observe the clues carefully before they answer in our next round, which is the audiovisual round. There are three audiovisual questions in this round. All questions are on the buzzer. Once the team hits the buzzer, it qualifies as the principal team to answer the question. For a correct answer, the principal team will get 20 points. But if it fails after hitting the buzzer, they will lose 10 points. The other two teams in this round can hit the buzzer before I, the quiz master, give out or ratify the principal team's answer. That is, to challenge the principal team's answer. If the challenger team gets it right, then they get 10 points. But if they get it wrong, they will get minus 5 points. Your first question is a visual clue. May we have the visual? There's the visual. Here's the question. Identify the film from this visual. Identify the film from this visual. You have to hit the buzzer if you know the answer. Team A, that's negative. Team B, negative. Team C, negative. Okay, moving on. This is the film called The Post. Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. No problem. Moving on to our second question here in the audiovisual round. This is an audio clip. Have a listen and then await the question. Maybe you have the clip, please. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. Uh, a little piece of practical poetry. Okay, boys, you've heard the audio clip. My question to you regarding the same is this. Identify the person you heard in the audio clip. Okay, Thomas Team Alva C. Edison. Sorry? Thomas Alva Edison. This man needs to be saluted. Well done! Wow! Wow! I, I saw a little bit of activity over there. Your partner was taking your hand off the buzzer, but you were resolute and you just continued. Did you know that he's going to press the buzzer and answer? Yeah, he told me he would. He, he would? Yeah. Did you trust that he would get it right? Yeah, almost. But you did? No, you I did? don't want to risk it though. Fantastic! Well done, Nihal! Well done! Fantastic! Okay, only for now. Be careful. All the best, boys. Your question three in the audiovisual round is a visual clue. Have a look. Okay, there is the visual. What is this headgear called? Yes, Team B. Fez. Absolutely right, Fez. Well done. The lesson from the game of chess is that once you have made a move, you cannot take it back. So make your moves carefully as you hit the buzzer for a passed on question in our next round, Star Game, brought to you by fairies. There are three questions in this round directed to each of the teams. If a team to which a question is directed at misses or passes it, the team that hits the buzzer first gets the next chance to answer the question. 
all questions when answered correctly gets a team 10 points. But when a team hitting the buzzer on the pass gets it wrong, it loses 5 points. All right, team A. I, V, Y, U, X, M, B, C, D and L. How many of these alphabets is used as Roman numerals? Team A. Uh, seven. Seven is correct. Well done. Well done. Starcade. Team A has clinched their points. Team B, are you ready? Yes. All right. If you double the number of rectangles seen on the Armenian national flag, how many rectangles do you get? Six. Team B, that is incorrect. Team A has hit the buzzer. Twelve. Twelve is correct, Team A. Well done. Team C, are you ready? Yes. Wonderful. Your question is, now listen very carefully. How many times do the hour and the minute hands of a clock overlap in 24 hours? 23. 23 is incorrect. Team A, their confidence overflowing. They hit the buzzer even before you could answer. All right, let's see. 24. 24, I'm afraid, is also incorrect. The hour and the minute hand would overlap 22 times in 24 hours. All right. Brilliant moves by our three finalists here today. But time for yet another break. We'll be back quickly with the scores and the final round of the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018. Powered by Himalaya. The finals, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere because this one is really steaming up. Welcome back to the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018, powered by Himalaya, UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest in the final lap, the final round, the final episode of the eighth season. Time to read out the scores before our last round. Ladies and gentlemen, in our second runner-up position, we have Team B, Crescent English High School, Dubai, with 35 points. First runner-up position, Team A, Delhi Private School, Dubai, with 45 points. And we have a lead team right now with a comfortable lead of 15 points from Team A. That's our own English High School, Fujera, at 60 points. Good going, boys. Good going. A very good, confident, steady, but confident game. Well played. Do not squander time, for that is the stuff life is made of said Benjamin Franklin and it's one of my favorite quotes. Indeed, time is of the essence in our final round as teams compete for every microsecond in this round which is at the buzzer and is brought to you by Himalaya. Six questions will be asked in this round. The teams will have to hit the buzzer to answer the questions. The first team to hit the buzzer gets to answer that question. If a team that hits the buzzer before the question is completed, then I, the quiz master, will stop reading out the question and ask that team to answer. Ten points for a correct answer, but minus five for a wrong answer. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Question one. Edith Cresson was the first woman prime minister of which European country? Nobody wanting to hazard a guess. The answer is France. Question two. In the 1620s, which European country issued lead coins named KAS, K-A-S, for its Indian territories? Was it Denmark or Portugal? Team B. Portugal. That is incorrect. Moving on, question three. Ever onward is the motto of which sporting event? Ever onward is the motto of which sporting event? Team C. Don't want to risk it or you don't know? You don't know? Team B? Team A? Nobody? It's the Asian game. Question four. The lynx is the largest wild cat of Europe. Is that true or false? Team B? True. Absolutely right. It is true. Question five. As of February the 1st, 2018, which club does Alexis Sanchez play football for? Team A? 
uh, Manchester United. Absolutely right, Manchester United. Question six, the final question, boys. Which two-word term was nominated as the word of the year by Collins Dictionary in... Youthquake. Youthquake? I'm afraid that is incorrect. Fake news. You remember that? Boys, thank you very much. Please, let's hear it for you. Well done, Team A, Delhi Private School, Dubai. Well done, Team B, Crescent English High School, Dubai. And our own English High School, Fujera. Well done, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, before I give you the final scores, before we end this episode, we still have that treat for all of you ardent quizzers out there. Why don't you log on to our Facebook page on facebook.com slash star plus for an exclusive question just for you all and a chance to win an exciting gift hamper. Now, it's time for the scores of the eighth season of the Skyline University Star Quiz Challenge 2018 that's been powered by Himalaya. And the final scores are at second runner-up position here in the eighth season. We have Team B, Crescent English High School, Dubai, with 40 points. The first runner-up, which is Team A, Delhi Private School, Dubai, who've closed their account with 50 points, which means we have a winner in Team C, our own English High School, Fujera, with a winning score of 60 points. Well done. Bravo, Team C. Bravo. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it was all about. The coveted Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy. May I now call upon the eight seasons winners, our own English High School Fujera, to come and stake claim to this glorious trophy. Give them a round of applause. Here you go. Congratulations. Hold it, hold it. This is yours. I'm not going to hold it from here on. Ladies and gentlemen, to thank you all for making this show what it is today in its eighth season. Thank you so much. Please do convey our regards and thanks to your school, your teachers who have given us so much support through the years. It gives me a pleasure once again to welcome you on the platform of Star Quiz Challenge. It is our fifth year of association, initially as educational partners and now one of the main sponsors of the competition. The platform of Star Quiz Challenge also enables the students to assess their knowledge at the same time understands their global competitiveness. The competition has been very successful over the years. It has given the right platform to the students within the UAE and the region to compete against each other with the winning spirit. On behalf of Skyline University College, I congratulate the winners, our own English high school, Fajera. Congratulations, well played.